एवरीवन टुडेज टॉपिक और द टाइटल ऑफ द स्टोरी इज द गिफ्ट ऑफ ऑनेस्टी लॉन्ग टाइम अगो इन अ विलेज दे लिव्ड अ पेंटर बाय द नेम रघु ही वॉज अ पुअर पेंटर बट अ वेरी सिंसियर वन ही डिड हिज वर्क with complete dedication devotion and honesty because he was very poor he couldn't get much of a job a job that was big enough so he earned his living by painting the houses or other small things whatever people gave him to paint and he was living his life earning his livelihood after working sincerely from morning till night he could with great difficulty get two meals a day with a very meager amount of food he always thought that some day maybe a big house is going to be his project that he is going to get so that he can earn a good amount but he was fully committed to the small task that was there small things the table a small piece of pottery or some such kind of small tasks one day the landlord of the village called raghu and he came as he had given the time the landlord told him that he has some work for him and he needs to do it saying this he says come i'll show you what the work is raghu agreed and he said surely sir i would definitely do the task for you whatever it is The landlord told Raghu that he wanted his boat to be painted and that he wanted it that very day it had to be done and before that he asks him what is going to be the charge to which Raghu replied that he charges 1500 rupees for that work Raghu assured the landlord that there would be no room for complaint that he is going to do the work perfectly saying this the landlord tells him to come along to see the boat and get the work started they came by the river side and saw the boat raghu said just give me some time so that i could get my things and i will start with the painting right away the landlord gets very happy to see his sincerity and eagerness to complete the task after bringing the material that he needed to paint the boat raghu started with his work without wasting any time while painting the boat he suddenly sees something he noticed a hole in the boat and he did not know what to do but without wasting any moment and before asking anything he thought that he should repair that first he thought to himself that if he is going to paint the boat and this hole remains it is going to make the boat sink so before he continued to paint he first sat to block the hole and mend it up and then continued to paint the boat he came to the landlord after finishing his painting 
and informed him that he had finished painting the boat. The landlord saw the boat and he was fascinated. He liked Raghu's work, that he had done the work very fast. But not a word did Raghu utter about the hole or about he mending it. The landlord really was happy and he told him that he had done a commendable work. He said to come the next morning and take the money. Later, the next day, the family of the landlord went to a fair the next side of the river in the same boat. After the family had left, the servant of the house came to the house and saw that there was no one, no noise about the children. So he came to the landlord and he asked, where are they? Because this servant had gone on leave, so he had returned then. So he wanted to meet the children and on asking the landlord said that they had gone to a fair on the other side of the river. So the landlord informed the servant that listening to this the servant got stressed. Seeing him in stress the landlord inquired, what's wrong with you? You have just returned from your leave. Now what is bothering you? The servant informed the landlord that that boat had a hole in it and you have sent your, your family people in it. Listening to the servant's reply, the landlord almost shrieked. He was nervous, panic-stricken, didn't know what to do. Sometimes later, the family returned back after a whole day's outing, seeing his family safe and sound. Both the servant and the landlord were happy, surprised and shocked. The next morning, as said, Raghu came on time and the landlord was very happy to see him. He paid him that he had to pay for painting the boat. Okay. On seeing the amount, he said, Sir, I think by mistake you have given me more than what was the deal. You had said that you would give me 1500 rupees and this is much more than that. The landlord said, Certainly, I had hired you for 1500 rupees. Raghu says, Sir, this is more than what the amount was decided for. You had, you have given me 6000 rupees, whereas we had spoken about 1500. The landlord then said there was a hole in the boat. If you wanted, you could have left it like that. But you did not do that. You mended the boat. About the hole, even I did not know. My family wanted to go to visit the fair and I sent them. If it wasn't for you, to mend the boat 
just think what could have happened this amount is nothing for the work that you have done the landlord was so thrilled he said the work that you did you would have asked for something that was extra on blocking that hole you didn't inform me you didn't ask for any extra amount but you quietly did your work and you went away don't you think that 6000 is still a very small amount that i have paid for such a hard work that you have done the landlord said whether whatever be your conditions or your arguments i want to listen to nothing this is your money and you should keep it and saying this the landlord asked him to keep the 6000 and wished him luck raghu was very happy to earn such a big amount for just one work he thanked god and the landlord for his kindness and left you know what happens actually we as humans some of us have a tendency after every work to go and inform that i have done this i have done this i have done this it is not good and there are the others who silently work without saying anything it's not every time that wherever you are working or for whoever you are working not necessary to go and talk about your work boast about your work or describe your work it was your work you have done it even if people around do not admire you or see your work or say anything to you not even a kind word of a thank you or something as such don't bother the lord above sees it all listens to everything watches every step every action and never forget this world is not running because of the humans it is running it is moving it is existing because of the almighty so we are supposed to do and walk upon the teachings of the almighty and the almighty definitely blesses remember this continue with your good work the almighty will certainly bless you if not today tomorrow day after some day he will so wait for his goodness and his kindness it will definitely happen god bless you